torture table is ready. Hammer saw choke pair acid on what body part? Eye, mouth, hands, genitalia? Don't you dare. Yeah, all right, everybody, we are here today taking a look at a little upcoming banger by the name of the Kind Man Remedy. No. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's like gonna be one of those situations where the E is silent, or maybe it's not, and it's like the Kingdom Man Remedy. Correct. Not too long ago, you might recall, we played a game where there was a couple, husband of Taylor, wife ran a restaurant, and essentially both of them were cannibals. They were funneling people through his tailor shop for her restaurant in order to, well, feed her clients, feeding them humans. The kind man or kinderman remedy is going to be very similar to that, as a matter of fact, even the gameplay mechanics. Here, however, we're playing the role of a mad scientist. He's really a doctor who just really wants the best for society. He basically has no moral code. Everything he does is in order to evolve humanity. It doesn't matter what way he does it. And his corp, his confidant, is going to be a nun who's just apparently lost her way, but she's okay providing this man with the bodies because, as you can see, we're going to be doing all this in a prison. Day after day spent stitching minor wounds, setting bones, doing the job of a talentless medical student in this filthy hole of a prison. Me. Dr. Carl Zachary Kinderman, graduated summa cum laude, anesthesiologist, surgeon, and chemist. A genius even among my peers. <laughs> and like a god among common men. Yet, even my peers rejected me. Unethical, they called my methods. Cowards. I call them. Thousands of brilliant minds bound and burdened by morality. Afraid to do what science taught us. Induce. Observe. Analyze. Discover. This is how I found it. The incredible mix of substances that our body produces when stimulated. If I manage to synthesize these drugs, I will change the entire field of medicine forever. <sighs> but where can a disgraced doctor find enough test subjects? Only in hell. In hell, I found everything I need. Plenty of damned to operate on. Vicious demons. Willing to close both eyes in exchange for wicked favors. And the most gentle of angels in the most torrid of places. Sister Anna. Now, I just have to put in the hard work. Be sure not to overdo it this time. Their souls were too corrupt and I brought them before the Lord. But... In name of our deep affection, I will control myself and not make a massacre. I promise. A anyway, what do you think of the new laboratory? It's perfect for my experiments. Big, practical, well-equipped. And quite isolated from the rest of the prison, too. But remember, we must still do our job and keep up appearances. A good job will bring more reputation, more reputation will bring us new equipment, and I need the best if I am to change the world. When are you going to write your research, if you work all day? There is one possible answer. During the night? When are you going to sleep? Sleep is for the weak. Lesser men might have achieved fame by chance. I should not rely on something so unpredictable. You'd better start then. We'd better start, you mean. Okay. Now I must prepare the pills. Let's indeed prepare the pills. So double click to run, you can also queue up multiple actions. So I, again, I'm blanking on the name of that game that we played, but... You move levels... Oh, I can't move levels just yet. I guess that has to teach me about it. 
But we should be able to like move levels and then control one depending on what level you're at and stuff like that. So there goes the pills up. And I imagine now we could swap over to N. His hands are so strong and delicate. Oh, Sister Anna. I thought, um, you were a woman of God, even if you've uh, chosen this very morbid lifestyle now. So here is where you poison the pills, huh? But you only poison one of the batch. One kills, the other heals. But the people who take them do not know which is which. Is this not what the Lord does when he assigns us our destinies? I mean, that's one way to look at it. Religion has always been kind of a little bit, you know, dark at times, too. Two suffering souls, this poison pill is going to set them free, guiding him into the Lord's loving embrace. So, is this guy here going to draw the lucky one or not? Oh, he did. And you know what he should, just for being a litter bug. What a monster. Tonight you're going to sleep peacefully in the morgue. So this guy who apparently is sick, he's also a litter bug monster, is gonna get the right pill. This dude has perished. <laughs> he seems oddly calm about the situation, you know? Like some dude just dropped dead, he came over and checked, and didn't even check his vitals or anything, just, uh, oh, he's there, huh? But I mean, shouldn't you be more careful with the body? I mean, wouldn't this, like, produce some, some post-mortem injury? No? Okay. Rig the execution, don't mind. If I do a little bit of rigging of executions here. Come on, Kinderman. Put a little step to your pep. Or is it pep to the... I think it's pep to the step, really. Where are we at? Okay. So we pop up through there, then... Uh-huh. So this is basically... Individual to what we're gonna do here. This is the execution we're rigging, okay. Here for the usual medical check before the execution. Yes, doctor. Well, we must make sure he's strong and healthy before he dies, don't we? Now, to make this pointless procedure less pointless, where is the reactant injection? It must be here somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. So we gotta make sure he's in good health before we can actually fry him, is what you're telling me? Of course. <laughs> gotta make sure he's healthy enough to survive the frying. I have prepared a little concoction for you to lessen the pain you are going to feel tomorrow. I only have to inject it. Stay still, please. I wonder if these guys ever get crazy on us, too. Like they'll try to, like, choke us out or something. Now go. No need to waste your last few hours with a pointless examination. Yeah, pretty much what I expect them to say. I mean, hopefully as a nice little... pre-execution trip, you know? The least we could probably do for me would be using his body for research. Incredible, those idiots truly believe that. The reactant will help him survive the execution ready for my special treatment tomorrow night. I don't have any reactant injections left for the next executions. Tonight, I must make one in the morgue. So this dude is going to be one of the live subjects that we use, huh? Okay. So that's our daytime procedure. Time to call Ronnie and tell him to rig the execution. Alright. Where's our boy Ronnie at? Oh my god, look at this guy. He just screams villain, doesn't he? Look at that fat face. <laughs> Redhead curls out the side too. Tomorrow. Again? You're insatiable, Doc. Just do it. Good night. I do not like him, not one bit. But he's the only one who has access to the electric chair before execution. I need those subjects alive and they cannot survive if he does not lower the voltage. Let's move on. This is the one that Anna poisoned. Alright, so I guess this will be a minor report, right? If he's already dead. Yes, the description matches. She was so happy that she freed him. Anna, she is truly peculiar. Well, time to squeeze all those marvelous substances out of this dead body. I'm kind of curious if there's, uh, you know, a little physical situation happened between him and Anna, too. Because her words about his strong hands seem a little bit iffy for a nun to be talking about. I mean, plus, once you start killing people as a nun, does the entire, you know, vow of celibacy to God really matter at this point? I doubt it. I feel like a lot of what you've been taught and committed to has been thrown out the window at that point. 
My procedures activate and extracts all those marvelous compounds produced during this bastard's agonizing death. Now it's time for my minor research report. I must write down everything, the phenotype of the subject, the exact amount of extracted substances, the concentration within different tissues, everything. Okay, you got to do that. Ah, a minor research report. These are not as good as a major research report as the results I obtained from a living subject, but still useful finding the remedy. So get rid of the corpse then. Yeah, unfortunately right now, as you can imagine, with this type of game, it's gonna be very tutorialized here early on, so... At least it's kind of shedding information on what exactly we're doing. But, uh, I do wish we had a bit more freedom to do it right now, it's just... Uh, Kinda of chilling and waiting, going with the story. Corpse disposal. Putting his ass into like a yeah. Toasty. All done, ready for tomorrow. I must have to store. I just have to store the reacting injection in the case. At least now we can run. So let's get a reactant. And let's get into our suitcase. I wonder if we actually get to see the executions too, or they just basically get done in the background and then, uh... Well, the body pops up here. You pop them with the ejection and they come to life. And then you brutalize their body down below. <laughs> Another day spent to make walking the subtle line between life and death. Poison the inmates to study their corpses and to heal them again to gain good reputation and buy better equipment. Healing and killing, yet always striking a balance, yet always for a purpose. As if I were a god. Maybe that's the, that's the way Anna sees us, as a god. So it does seem now that we do have some freedom, perfect. Let's make sure that we are... Yeah, we can swap back and forth, perfect. Get this going. And again, we could also queue up actions here. Although, you know what I wonder? Can I grab more pills? No, I would say probably not. Like, we would need a table probably to put down pills. Is what I'm thinking. Yeah, because I'm thinking like we should probably start making some more pills as a backup right now, right? But then I have a feeling like the other game how it worked was I couldn't grab like meat if I had to wait for a meal to actually be prepared and then send it up. So now at this point I should be able to do this. Cue that up, and then cue that up afterwards. Let's come over here to our girl. They do apparently have a... Uh, even prisoners have their own patience, it does seem. This guy's already getting impatient there. There you are, my man. No need to worry. You're so urgent to die, will he get the one that's poisoned? Yes, he did. There it goes. There's the irony there for you. He was in such a rush. Gotta get my pills. Gotta get my pills. Well, those pills killed you, my friend. It's actually very genius what the entire process is. The pills that we're giving are indeed making them sick enough to come back, but we we make them sick enough just to return, and then one of them gets the poison pill that actually gets us the legitimate body. It's a it's a very <laughs> Super villain is like, you know, procedure that we have happening here. Do we have enough pills here? Yeah, that would be eight of nine, and then one more. This dude here will probably get the last pill, and that'll be it. So we have done our objectives here for the day. Okay, so that went perfectly fine. I mean, can you imagine? I only had like literal two actions to do, so yeah. Not too difficult in that front. I guess once we start adding more people and different objectives, it'll be difficult then. Dr. Kinderman, it's execution time. We frying another pig. You coming out to do your job or what? Right away. Is everything ready as I required? I'm a professional. Professional, Dr. Kinderman. Do not waste my time with pointless questions. Now come on, someone's dying to see you. Figuratively in little, yes. So you get to see the executions too, wow. Is it time? Yes. Can you tell me how this works again? Do you remember the reaction, the reactant injections I make in the morgue? 
It's a compound synthesized from the opioids, pain meditate, mediators, and healing chemical substances I extract from the corpses. Once injected into a living subject, he will survive the electric shock, even if it almost stops his heart. Amazing. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Once I perfect my remedy... One one eight nine three Fred Weasel. In accordance with USC Code Title Forty, Criminal Procedure Chapter Twenty Three, Execution Judgment. Aye, aye. Shit, starting. You are now sentenced to death by electrocution. Gods proceed. <laughs> Oof. Oh. Oh God. Dr. Kinderman, please confirm the dead. Oh, uh, let me guess. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Oh, you can hear the heartbeat still. No pose, he is dead. Very well. Please leave the room. We are done here. Finally, I trudged through days of boredom and uselessness only for this. All my daily efforts strive towards these precious moments. Another leap forward for all my important research. Ronnie did his job as usual, punctually delivering the subject. For how much I dislike him, I must admit he is incredibly useful. Mr. Weasel, welcome to hell. Or may I call you Fred? Hell, a prefabricated concept where fear meets fiction. Here, however, among these walls, Pain serves science! I must thank you already, but I believe you shan't be able to understand me later. The pain will be unbearable. So thank you for your contribution to my world-changing research. Shall we start? I mean, it's one thing to be, you know, looking to create this, you know, evolution of science through no moral codes and stuff like that, but I mean, that entire, you know, maniacal speech, is it really necessary? Then again, it's there to prove to us this is still not a good dude. Even though he claims what he's doing is for the betterment of mankind. Torture table is ready. Oh, here we can zoom in. Zoom out. As far as we can zoom in, huh? That's a shame. Again, this is where I would love, like, you know, full mo like motion control the camera. My middle mouse button ain't doing it, WASD ain't doing it, arrows ain't doing it. Holy hell, what the hell is this? Special treatment. Hammer, saw, choke, pair, acid. On what body part? Eye, mouth, hands, genitalia? Don't you dare. What? I'm gonna go for the hands. What you think I was gonna do, you, you freaks? Oh, you gotta hit this. Major research report. Oh wait, but you don't get to see it? See, in the butcher game, like you would see those people being chopped up and like tossed in the meat grinder and everything. No, you gotta be able to show, at least in the full game, they gotta show it, right? Maybe this is the demo? Like I know it's very... I know it's very dark and morbid, but I mean, the entire game is based on being dark and morbid. You can't like, you know, at the last minute be like, well, we're not gonna go that far. When the entire game is about going too far. Thanks to Mr. Weasel, I have learned so much tonight. He has outlived his utility. The major research report I have written is bring me with information. It's time to get back to work. Huh. So we got a secret door here, right? That's covered by the bookshelf. I wonder where that door leads to. Because there's still no way to get into this little secret area of his. A uh, minor research report and dispose of corpses. Okay. So do we need, like, do I need to like, you know, we just need to... One of these, right? And then everything else we just... You know what? No, I think we can just probably give these bodies here and then research them another night for another miner. I don't have to burn these, right? Just get the information off of this one once I do get it. We put them in there, get disposed of, and then these guys, we just leave them overnight. Probably smells amazing down here, I imagine, but, uh... Hello? Dr. 
Dr. Black, huh? Good morning, I am Dr. Simon Black. I would like to talk with Dr. Kinderman, please. What do you want, Simon? Oh my god, you answer your own calls! Yeah, forgive me if I do not have a secretary in a fucking prison. Ah, oh, you're working in a prison, huh? When you should have kept in... When you should be kept in one. I would count myself lucky. What do you want, Simon? I heard the news. People are disappearing in Thompson Island. You're still going on with your sick experiments. I do not understand what you might refer to. Yes, yes you do. I will not allow you to continue, Carl. I'm keeping an eye on you. Truth be told, I'm keeping as many eyes on you as I can afford. And I can afford many. Either you stop now, or I will ruin you. Completely this time. I do not understand what you might refer to. Have it your way then. I warned you. It's good. You don't want to admit anything over the phone, dog. You never might know who's recording you. And that's about it. Okay. So, new rooms, obviously. Equipment upgrades. Okay, so maybe... Yeah, it, it does seem like in the new rooms it's showing that he's actually cutting people up and everything. Plus we have more characters to meet. Upgrades. Okay. So this is very limited because it's a demo. Understandable then. I'm just saying, you know, if you're gonna be cutting people up here and the entire premise of the game is about being dark, then, you know, you can't just be like, oh, not that part. We can't show that. Well, there you guys have it. All the information for this will be down below in case you want to check it out for yourselves. Keep an eye on it. Let me know what you guys think. If there's enough interest, maybe when the full game comes out, we might take a little perusal of this one. I'll catch you guys next time.